practice for each topic and determine its general and specific purpose. Organize the speech in a manner <coughs> that's best achieved those purposes. Ensure the, be uh, the beginning, body, and the conclusion reinforce the purposes. Project sincerity and convince and control any nervous you may feel. Strive not to use your notes. Thank you. Can I ask the timer to give us the time report for this speech and the two other following speeches? Uh, here, uh, you have time located uh, five to seven minutes. Uh, I should just remind you about uh, the green light. Make sure you don't miss yeah, five, the five minutes and six minutes for uh, <laughs> uh, 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 six, seven minutes for uh, red light. Uh, Yes, I'm, I'm going to make again the, the same speech, animals and the animals too. But I see that, okay, more than 50% of this club, uh, the room were not uh, available in my previous speech. So I have to repeat, I have to make a summary. Actually, um, we, we, last time we said, okay, there's a scale, scale of the living things around us. This gentleman. Okay, the scale is starting when we look at the around, we see that the, the plants, animals, and the human. But I said, okay, we see some of the human behavior in this scale going somewhere down, even worse than anything. I give example, destroying or damaging others. I say lion is killing other animals, but not more than what they need. They kill one, eat it, they are happy. They don't destroy it. But we see that human being is killing millions, killing hundreds, tens, all around. Unfortunately, nowadays, I don't watch television too much. I hate television. And at my home, since I'm married, even the university time, I didn't have television. Still, I don't have it. Last time I, I wanted to spend some time, I saw those movies, those series, all bloody. Unfortunately, really, you know, all bloody. They, they are now, it is like fun, you know, hitting, killing, hurting, cutting, all these kind of things. They people, people, they sit with their children, with their families, entire family, watch happily. What is this? Where are we heading? The problem is, all these things are becoming norm, becoming normal. People are accepting them, okay, it's normal, what? You know, they have to defend themselves. See, the, the, the two parties are sitting across to each other. One of them is best, do, doing best bad thing, and the other one is learning from him and doing another bad. And he is also turning back and keep increasing. Keep increasing to, to where? We see and we hear that right, uh, right now, okay, 10 minutes ago, I opened my radio, uh, BBC, keep giving the news, okay? This much of people that have died there, killed by Boko, this much of people was killed here by this group, where are we heading? What are we going to do at the end? Uh, all, all, all we have to go fight and you know, dig each other, cut each other? We have to stop this. We have to take action. Last time, unfortunately, I made a, a speech to a group of 30 people. At the end of the speech, I saw everybody so upset. Because what I presented really makes upset. And then what do you expect later? They have to take action, because if they are upset, they think that it is serious business. So they have to take action. But it lasted only one minute. And then after one minute, they were laughing, joking, and I haven't seen anybody of them came after the speech to me and asked me what we can do. Well, I haven't heard anybody of them taking action. None of them, none of us, this is happening. We are. We are becoming senseless. We are becoming mindless. Okay, it can happen. We can do that. But as you can see throughout the history, it is becoming worse and worse. So tomorrow, we are going to leave our children a world completely disaster. 
with all our actions, with all our behaviors, with all our choices, we are destroying, we are polluting. Spiritually and physically, not only one way. Physically, we are polluting. For what? If you think about many of our behavior and judgments are for pleasure, for enjoyment. We are driving on the, the luxury highway, luxury car, emitting so much of CO2. <coughs> Have you ever thought about this? If we drop our luxury, sense of luxury, one, one level, one level down, not drive this much of this, this car with a huge volume of the motor, but drive a moderate car, we are going to save probably 70% of our emission. If we choose not to enlighten the road from Abu Dhabi to Dubai, all it is enlightened, right? There are lights all around, okay? It's, it's all night, it's, it's light are all. And how much does it cost? How much gas, how much energy does it cost? Are we aware? And this doesn't impose any work to us. We are, we don't think, we don't care. And we think, the worst is, we think that, okay, it's not me happening, it's not gonna hurt, it's not gonna harm me, it's not gonna affect me. We think this way. But unfortunately, it's not that. Because I believe life is a mirror of our action. Whatever we put, that's what we see. Next time, when you stood in front of a mirror, just try to talk to the person on the mirror. And think about if that person on the mirror tells you something different than what you are telling. How do you feel yourself? It's telling something different than you tell <laughs> that person. Scary, huh? If he rose, rises his hand, you're not rising. It's scary, right? So that's what's happening. What we think, unfortunately, is different than what we tell. And it's even more unfortunate that it is different what we do. Thinking different, talking different, doing different. What is the reason? Because we make a justification, oh, we have to, it's politics. It is this, it is that. It is job security. But believe me, all these things are harming ourselves. Okay, thank you.